uh, Tell us about the first Hong Kong that you right, went to. Right. It's a really good story. Yeah. Well, the first Hong Kong is sort of funny, but it is a pretty good story. I went in 2005, uh, I found out about this convention. Well, my parents and other friends of mine thought that it could be a ripoff. Uh, they told me that I should go because that doesn't sound right. Because I had been told uh, throughout my life that Halloween is a little kid deal. And, uh, and I, that's what I saw Hong Kong for a long time. Was, uh, something that really tripped my mind when I went, okay? The first day I was there, uh, when we went, uh, I thought maybe we got, we got ripped off because it took a while to see anybody. It and, was uh, nobody there when we first got there. We went and we, we got chicken. Excuse me, me and my friend Glenn was looking around. We couldn't find anybody. And uh, we asked a hotel, and they, uh, they told me to go up to to second floor. We went to the second floor, and there was nobody there. And uh, I, we, and a lady up there told us, oh, I think that was cancer. So we was like, oh, man, we got ripped off. We got ripped off. Well, come to find out, there was just, they, you know, there was just getting a late start, getting it all going, and stuff like that. To make a long story short, they came, everything, and, and it was awesome. And what impressed me about Hong Kong, it was people all different ages. You have old people, you have young people, you have middle-aged people, you have people that own banks, people that was lawyers. Uh, all these people was here, and they all did haunted houses. And we ain't talking about a small haunted house, we're talking about big haunted houses. We have houses. pictures from that very house. house. It's just a wow. few pictures, but in those pictures, I got to meet uh, Kenny Harder, which is uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, Jason, uh, uh, and then also uh, I got to meet also uh, Michael Berryman from the Hills Have Eyes, the very first movie. Yeah, Hills Have Eyes. Eyes. I have uh, a big match collection. Wow. Well, maybe 70 to 80 different masks. Wow. All together. My missing match was an alien mask. That's cost me about $5,000. Wow. I have a huge match collection. And uh, uh, this uh, is a new one that I just bought uh, this past Halloween. Uh, I had this one for a while. Uh, I just never got it out until recently. But uh, but uh, it's it, like I said. I, uh, I have some costumes, and I, I have a, I have about uh, I guess about a couple of thousand dollars in light equipment for the strobe lights, fog machines, black lights. Uh, they don't call him Mr. Halloween Man for nothing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It took us about two weeks mm -hmm. and everything. I, I have been doing it for 27 years now. Uh, uh, and it, it, every year it's, it's a big task. Mm -hmm. But this is probably the biggest, better haunted house you know, I've ever done before. Johnny, uh, this alien behind us, please tell us. Two and a half months to create him. <laughs> it's just amazing work. Tell us how it all came about. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I met a friend of mine who introduced me to a, a good friend who is named Bill McGrell, and uh, he is an awesome artist. Uh, he's the one that uh, uh, built it. Uh, uh, we helped him a little bit, but he's the one that put it all together. Without he, his help, we couldn't have done it. It is absolutely amazing. And part of you also associated created the Horror Society? Yeah, I created the Horror Society of the Coastal Plain about five years ago. Uh, we do a lot of other stuff, fundraisers and car washes, and, and we go camping and we we go ghost hunting sometimes. And, oh, that's and, uh, 